we see a lot of shortages in the supply chain for various pieces of the puzzle. One that came up recently was USB extenders. Um, and, and I know that we actually have a solution here at PTZ Optics to potentially go around that using some of these uh, different workflows leaning towards IP. Speak to that a little bit. What are some common workflows that we think we can start to replace? Uh, I'll admit, well, it was funny because you mentioned this to the other to me the other day and I, I, I was over here sitting at my desk and I just started laughing because a couple of years ago, we kind of started talking about this as a, well, this could be a thing. Like, you know, people might have interest in this this idea of, of kind of getting around USB extension, um, but you know, never really had an, an avenue to offer this uh, to people. So yay, thank you for opening up this door to talk about it. Um, so with the, um, with the introduction of NDI onto the PTZ optics and huddle cam cameras, um, there became a really neat opportunity where you could now essentially have a an equivalent to a USB extended camera, except for it now had a limitation of like 328 feet. Um, and it really didn't require too much other than an NDI enabled product. So for me to describe this, I'll, I'll use the example uh, of, actually I'll just use an NDI camera. So like our, our HC EPTZ dash NDI, it's a little NDI webcam um, with EPTZ functionality as the name suggests. So what you can do with this product, um, you can plug it into an outlet for power. You can then connect a network cable up to 328 feet in between a PC and that camera. And then you can launch something called NDI webcam. And magically now that NDI camera, not having to go through a network, going 328 feet is being pulled in just like a webcam and able to be used in any webcam based software like Zoom, Teams, uh, VC, the list goes kind of on and on and on. Um, now, alternatively, Mm, our products are PoE enabled. So you might not want to throw a switch in there right off the bat, but there's these wonderful things called PoE injectors um, and, and they are very affordable. Now this is where I would again mention the PDZ Optics products only require PoE, not PoE plus. So you do not need a PoE plus injector. So in this instance, you would have your NDI camera, you would have a network cable going out of it, into a PoE injector that could be near the camera, it could be near the PC. I mentioned it's probably best near the PC as you already have power over there. Um, but that being said, you would then connect would another connect network cable another out network. of that, that PoE injector and into a network card on your PC, your laptop. Um, and again, you launch the NDI webcam software and now you can pull it in and treat it just like any other webcam. Now, both of these options have a limitation of, you know, around 328 feet. What if you needed to go over that? Well, there, there is an option there, and that is your NDI camera goes into a network switch that's part of your, your LAN, and now your PC on that same LAN is connected via a network cable and you run the NDI webcam software. And again, now you've got that camera showing up just like a, a an attached USB camera. But now the distance limitation becomes the limitation of your network. Uh, you know, it's no longer a cable limit. It is literally the limit of your network. Um, yeah, I, I mean, those are probably some of the best workflows to solve USB extension in a really, really easy fashion. Uh, again, it's not exactly USB extension, but it's going to be offering you that same type of functionality. Um, uh, now, yeah, was there a question? Um, we do All have right. a question that's kind of um, close to this topic, or, or do you want to finish up your thought there? Because this kind of speaks similarly to that. Yeah, I mean, I can I can go over the one other option on, um, so, you know, at this point, we've talked about an NDI camera and how you can leverage NDI with it 
to use it like a webcam. Um, however, there's also the need sometimes to take a USB camera and turn it into NDI so you can treat it the same way. So mm -hmm. if, if you were trying to do something like that, that is where I would recommend um, looking at something like an Intel compute stick or there's also a very affordable brand of PCs on uh, Amazon called Melee or Melee. Um, so for about $250, you get a little Windows PC that you can install the NDI tools on. One of the wonderful NDI tools um, is something called Screen Capture. That allows you to take a USB camera that would be connected to that, that, that little PC and turn it into an NDI feed. So now you could treat it just like an NDI camera at that point. So again, same idea. It could be directly connected to another PC. It could be attached to your network. Um, the one thing I will voice as caution here, even though in theory, a lot of these things open up doors to introduce wireless, um, unless the wireless system has been tuned to handle video, I would not recommend using wireless yet on a lot of these devices. Um, I'm hoping in the next few years we'll see that kind of change, but we're not quite there yet. So not wireless yet, but there are some workarounds for different workflows um, using IP infrastructure mm -hmm. for maybe a traditional. You, I think the the thing about USB is it's so approachable in the sense of plug and play, right? everyone's so used to USB, there wasn't the big complications that IP infrastructure has had in the past. So it's a little bit more approachable. But if you have, say, a project that you're working on or a client that you're working with who has a project and they're, they're talking about USB, but they have those limitations in terms of distance, um, you know, there are solutions and workarounds, right? Using these uh, network, we'll call it network solutions.